Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here and I hope you're having a great day. We have something really cool for you today, a little different than the regular videos. We have some special guests here. Hey guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Tess. And together we are KT Tarantulas. Tarantulas. They brought some really cool tarantulas here, Billy picked them up. They're going to explain them to us and tell us all the really cool things about them, so let's go and learn about them today. So first off, we have a Lasiodora parahibana. The common name for that species is the Brazilian salmon pink. A parahibana. It is a very common uh, staple tarantula and they're loved because of their size and their feeding response. What's this one here? The GBB. The scientific name is Chromatopalma cyanopubescens. Commonly called the green bottle blue because it has green, orange, and blue on it. So fun fact as well for you guys, green is a very uncommon color in tarantulas. It's actually quite rare. There are very few species with green on it. She's a heavy, heavy weber. Pretty neat. And she's probably going into like a She's mold. pre yeah. yeah. Cool. She's doll in uh, losing her hair, she's pre mold The red knee. Tarantula. These guys, you guys might have seen them already. Like on other YouTube videos. They're pretty popular in the tarantula. So this one here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you put your hand in there? Yeah, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna do this. Kind of just scoop it up. Yeah. Nice and slow. So it might go onto your next hand. Yeah. Wow, guys, oh, I'm doing this. Yeah, there you go. Look at this. It's so awesome. Wow. Slow movements when holding a tarantula or they will bolt. Yeah. These guys are usually pretty slow. Wow, this is beautiful. It's pretty cool. It is awesome. So like Lion said, they are a, uh, they're a common species. Uh, they are another hobby staple. Uh, these are great species to have because they are very low maintenance. They come from the dry areas of Mexico, so they don't require as much uh, care or husbandry. Do you guys know that sometimes tarantulas will actually like, drop their legs? They will they grow back. They stop molds, yeah. but they regenerate. Next but, up, we have the Big the Bad, Formictophus cancerides. This is another uh, adult female or sub-adult. These guys get up to around eight inches. And you'll notice she has more dirt than the others because she likes to do a deep burrow and go and hide in there. But she came out for the video today. Mm -hmm. After some lovely coaxing, she came out to say hi to everybody. Awesome. It looks like, they, what's that little two things at the back? Are those other That's what so that's her what webbing comes out of. So like sometimes you'll just see them walking around and like the spinnerets are just going in circles. That's them just letting out their web and creating something pretty cool. These guys have an amazing feeding response and uh, they do come with some attitude. They are a new world species, yeah. but they have some old world spice <laughs> to them. We have Formictopus SP Green. Uh, under the right lighting conditions, the femurs and possibly carapace on these guys will light up green. So I brought some of my uh, collection jewels, I guess we could say. Um, we'll go with this guy first, which is actually a female. This is my sub-adult female, Redney. So the little one you saw is just a small one. This is a, a sub-adult female. These guys max out at about six inches. So sick! It stays nice and docile like that. Yeah, they stay nice and calm easily. Uh, these guys, curly hairs. Curly hairs actually have some attitude sometimes, but if you guys want a tarantula, handling is not recommended, but if you guys do want one that are safer to do so, I would recommend a Hamori or a Mexican Red Bean. Super cool, look at this thing. So there's also a... Uh, some other Brachypelma species, they're all really good for beginners, and they okay. are Halloween tarantulas. If you guys ever get really close or get a good picture, you can actually see there's a little afro between the, all the eyes. There's <laughs> a little set of hairs that kind of stick out. Actually, I can see it. Next up, we have our Burgundy Goliath bird eater. These guys are awesome. They're the world's largest species of tarantula. Actually, the blondie holds that title, but same family of tarantulas, same genus. These guys can get up to 11 inches. Wow. And they have amazing feeding responses. Like freaking out. And these guys also have some of the worst urticating hairs in the hobby. So new world tarantulas have itchy hairs, old world tarantulas have potent venom. Super cool. How handleable are these guys? 
not, not very handleable. Wouldn't recommend. Wouldn't recommend because if they kick hairs, you're gonna itch like no tomorrow. This one here is awesome. This is my jewel of all jewels. Amazon Blue Leg Bird Eater. Awesome species. Uh, under right conditions, super light blue legs. When he molted a couple months ago, it was like super bright blue, not baby blue, but a nice navy blue kind of navy blue. And it really popped. These guys grow like weeds. Uh, they jump in size versus the Brachypelma homori, and their feeding response is awesome. Carapace. Carapace. Yes. Carapace. Yes. So there. The... I love the way it looks here. It's like yeah. a design on Italic it. Metallic kind of. Yeah. It's like a tiger. It's so crazy looking. Some Love tarantulas, um, a male and female, look the same when they're maturing, where others, either the female's more pretty or the male's more pretty. So it's Zanestis, Pamphibedius, and some other genus, but this genus especially, so a genus is a family of tarantulas, so this is Zanestis SP Blue. SP Blue being the species, Zanestis being the family or the genus. Um, Zanestis genus, the males, steal the show as well as Pamphibedius genus. Next up we have another Zanesta species. This one is a female. It's a Zanestus amanus. So it's similar to that? Colombian lesser black, I believe, is the common name. Uh, this is just a smaller female. She has that same patterning on the carapace. There you guys go. So these guys have really pretty orange hairy butts. Another fun fact is sometimes if you see a tarantula walking around with its butt raised, some people think, like, what is it doing? It's actually trying to make itself look bigger to prey. We have P. Metallica. Everyone knows what this is. It's a goody sapphire or a goody blue. And everyone uh, wants it. Lord might actually be taking... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm taking them. Is, is taking Not this Mike. one. Yeah, he's taking it. So Get these guys, on this one if actually we, uh, just molted. We can we, open the top. Just be nice and slow. Yeah, these guys could run pretty fast. When they, they move really from, fast, we just call it teleporting. It's like oh, from, teleporting, okay. They'll go from I'm here learning. to like your shoulder. They're like, point A to point B in two, you know, point two seconds. So you call it teleporting. They are so fast, they teleport. Cool. Theria genus, or pokey for short, is known for having their caution stripes on the underside of their legs. When they threat pose, it tells you to stay away. These guys Look are- Look at the blues already, sorry. Fairly venomous, old worlds. And you'll notice it's trying to hide right now because its legs are fully like front and back. They're trying to spread themselves out. When they try to hide, they put the first two leg pairs in front and mm -hmm. the last two in the back. They stretch out. And last, last but not least. Last but not least. least. Everybody yep. back up. Oh, what's this one? The big, the bad, the bold, the terror. Oh, God. Tyrannochylus marinus, the OBT, which is two names, orange baboon tarantula, or most commonly known as the it orange bitey thing. Kyle, These guys are heavy webbers. Being called the orange bitey thing, they bite a lot? Yeah, they're... <laughs> wow, These look at that These guys are a vibrant, like, tangerine orange. I'll rotate it. There you guys go. Wow, beautiful. Are you gonna get this one? Yeah. Jeez, look at that thing. So this is going to lion as well. So if you guys didn't already know, I'm actually scared of spiders and tarantulas. So this is a big step up for me. Kyle over here is gonna help me hold a tarantula. I've held one when I was younger at a reptile expo and I was very scared. It lasted about a second. So I hopefully today I can muster up the courage to go and hold it for a little bit longer. And what type of tarantula is this? This is a Mexican red knee. Nice. Holy cow. Just go over the edge a little bit more, that way. What's your thought process? Uh, it's not that bad, actually. I'm just thinking about the fangs, and uh, <laughs> earlier Ellie showed me the fangs on one of these girls, so. It's actually that one. That yeah. this girl, so. Nice, if you're not, like, and you're staying pretty sturdy right now, as long as you're not shaking or swaying, they stay pretty still, Yeah. right? And then. I'm a little shaky here, right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little scary, down. but really cool. Well, thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> but I'm definitely thinking of getting a tarantula in the future. Maybe not one that I'm gonna hold at first, and maybe I'll work my way up to it, but this is definitely a cool tarantula. And I asked him how old it was. He said around 10 years old. 
And that's huge, that's really old, and I definitely didn't know that tarantulas lived that long. How long do they live? They can live up to 25 years. Uh, certain Grandma Stola genus species can live up to 30. Holy cow, that's a really long time to have a tarantula in your care. So if you are gonna get a tarantula, do take that into mind, but there are some that last or live a little less, aren't there? Yeah, so some a lot of the arboreal species are 12 to 15 years. Still quite a bit of time, or if you're looking for something, but you're not sure if you're ready for a full commitment, uh, there's always a need for love for the male species as they only live around five years, uh, so between two and eight depending on the species.